Chad, you look incredibly ready to play some disc golf today. You told me to suit up. So Did I put my... Played? No, me neither. So I thought that he said suit up for disc golf, so I suited up for disc golf. Are there different discs, though, for different shots? Yeah. Yes. Like, Listen, we're going to go through the discs. I'm going to put you on Bosco duty Ooh, real quick. Fine. So that way we Bye, can, Bosco. We can go through, you know... Maybe. Let's go over here, and this is... This would be what I would show up to a tournament with if I was to play. So, it gives... This is overkill for an average weekend player, okay? Um, this is fully loaded tournament, multiple rounds, expecting everything, conditions to change, things like that. Things you really don't have to worry about. When you show up at the course, you really only need two or three frisbees. And I know they're not frisbees, but they're discs, but most people understand frisbee easier. So here, let me show you. We're talking mid-range, driver like I showed you before, and a putter, okay? So, if you look at them from a profile shot, can you catch all three of those? Got it. Perfect. So, a putter is going to be nice and rounded. It's going to be made out of a uh, baseline style plastic, something a little grippy. I'll let you go ahead and feel that. Okay. So heavier. That, yeah, it's heavier. Uh, mid Mid-range, two different plastics, uh, a premium plastic that can be beat up like this has been used for tons and tons and tons of rounds over the 10 years that it's been out, where this is something newer in a baseline plastic. Um, it only slightly changes the flight characteristics in the plastic change. Um, and then, of course, a driver in a premium plastic. This is a 10-year anniversary, obviously, so it's a little extra fancy. But That's Latitude 64, my, my yeah, favorite. Latitude 64 Diamond. This is a perfect beginner disc, beginner disc um, in probably the highest speed that you should throw. <clears throat> like I was saying before, all discs have numbers that tell us what they do. Because um, obviously, putters and high-speed drivers aren't going to do the same thing. They're designed differently. So there's four numbers that every disc company pretty much puts in the box. And it's going to be um, speed, glide, turn, and fade. And how that translates is the speed is going to tell you how fast the disc needs to rotate for all the rest of the numbers to make sense. The glide, obviously, is how lofty it is. Um, the more of a dome you have on a disc, the more glidey it's going to be. Um, now, the two real numbers that everybody watches are the turn and fade. That tells you how it flies when it's actually in the air. So, obviously, negative numbers means it goes more one way. Positive numbers means it's more stable, they call it, or overstable. So, for turn, traditionally, um, you want a zero turn. If it's a negative, like this is a river, these are all rivers, they're all the same thing, they're in different plastics. Um, the numbers on this disc are speed seven, glide seven, turn is negative one, fade is positive one. So what that means is if thrown, right hand, back hand, it's gonna have a negative turn to the right against the rotation of the disc, and then it'll have a positive fade as it slows down of one back to the center. So ideally, this should be what they consider a straight throwing fairway driver. What is disc etiquette? Okay, well you have your very casual um, disc. You know, with other players, you obviously don't want to throw on another player. If there are, this is a great example, there's kids playing on hole one right if we came here and we were getting ready to play and we're on the tee pad, we would first stop, introduce ourselves to them, explain to them what we're here in the park to do, show them that this is a disc golf hole and that we are going to be throwing you know, high speed discs um, in this area. I want to say thanks to Earl. Yeah, absolutely, man. I really appreciate you guys getting out here and introducing South Florida to disc golf. Um, it's a great sport. You guys will have a lot of fun if you get out and play. And again, keep me in mind if you're looking for your disc golf supplies.